So yes, we had the uh, Amber Amber Heard Johnny Depp verdict, and I think um, Carl covered covered some of this yesterday. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, like there's there's so much so much more stuff has come out. It's, it's hilarious. So okay. the woke responses uh, tend to fall into the ca- these categories. So um, they say it's a backlash to Me Too that's going to be used by the bad guys. So we've got to stop it. Who are the bad guys this time? Bad guys are well, it's like the fat checkers. Uh, the bad guys are whoever uh, woke people <laughs> decide is bad. So you know, men, right. uh, white. people people, uh, right-wing people, that, that kind of thing. Uh, some people say Johnny is guilty. I mean, even though it's been proven in a court of law um, that he was defamed, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, they know better than the jury and the the the, um, the criminal justice th- system, although it wasn't criminal justi- justice, it was a civil case. But mm. um, other people are saying, remember black women, because uh, you know, Wait, you what? got... Got a crowbar, crowbar your own issue. Uh, I, I, I can't believe that. Surely that's not. Oh man, yeah, no, there's a lot, and uh, other also some left wing people are worried about freedom of speech, which is I love okay. how they, they become freedom of speech absolutists when it's one and of their own. Usually at very strange times as well. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hang on, free, freedom of speech has nothing to do with this issue. Why are you bringing it up? <laughs> Goodness me. Yeah, and there's also some that are just using it as an opportunity to do some generic virtue signaling. Mm, so current issue, my virtue signal. Yeah, got yeah. It. So a lot of people like Vice are saying um, are saying that you know right wing people uh, are saying that Johnny Depp killed the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement, you know, for the last five years, you know, we've had uh, women um, saying you know bringing up cases of abuse against them. It started in Hollywood mm-hmm. uh, with accusations against Harvey Weinstein, and I think Rose McGowan was the first one to actually you know burst uh, burst burst open and say. Look, I was I was abused by Harvey Weinstein. It was a, it was an essential right. movement oh, in a absolutely. way because you know men had just been treating women terribly for for you know probably as long as there's been men and women. I bet even before that, I bet the first amo- amoeba to grow a flagellum <laughs> was rubbing up against other amoebas, making them feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I mean look, women in Hollywood and so, some of these guys like Harvey Weinstein, total animal. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He's like he's inviting people to, to his hotel room at three a.m. for a for a for a meeting and uh, like. But on on the flip side. Surely everybody knew it, they weren't going there to Harvey Weinstein's hotel room. Well, that does seem notorious to, that, Harvey Weinstein's hotel room at three a.m. for a, for a meeting. You know what I mean? There does seem to be a certain amount of suspicious suspicion in the deniability of some of these claims, yeah. doesn't it? And also, I mean, there's people who are, are sucking dick for like uh, for like fifty dollars, mm-hmm. and it's like if you're a Hollywood star. You suck Harvey Weinstein's dick, and you get like a multi-million-dollar career, mm-hmm. and you know all the fame, all the adulation mm-hmm. from it. Man, that's come on. Mm-hmm. You got to be happy with that. But no, these these women are still they're coming back round, and they're being like, ah, oh, so you know, well, I've had this twenty-year career, but it's coming to an end now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now, you know, even though Harvey Weinstein, you know, delivered totally delivered the goods mm-hmm. with with all this stuff, I'm gonna go. I want more. I want more. I mean, man, there's got to be there's got to be hoes on the street being like, oh my god, I'm I'm doing this wrong. Well, a leftist would say that the fact that that situation existed was an indictment of the system itself, right? Oh, the power, the it, power yeah, structure, structural oppression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. I mean, it's the the men. You know, all these like gross, disgusting, fat old men have got the power in in Hollywood, mm-hmm. uh, which you know, to which we can say to women, well, why don't you uh, make better films? If you make films as good as Harvey Weinstein, then you'll have the power and you'll be inviting Harvey Weinstein <laughs> to your hotel room to give you a rim job okay. at uh, 3 a.m. But yeah, and also some of these things, like uh, somebody accused Dustin Hoffman of mm-hmm. um, asking her for a blowjob like 20 years ago or whatever, and she said it made her feel uncomfortable. And, you know, it's terrible she felt uncomfortable, but that's how we get blowjobs. You know, you've, <laughs> you've got to be proactive about it. You've got to go out, get out there and start asking some of those tough, tough questions mm-hmm. like, can I have a blowjob, please? Otherwise, you just don't get a blowjob. Like, I'm just saying, that's the system we've got for blowjobs. You've yeah. got to, you know, they're like, oh, unwanted sexual advances. Who's got a 100% hit rate in wanted sexual advances? You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna shoot and you'll miss. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you'll be like, well, do you fancy it? And they're going to be like, no. And it's like, well, that, you know, if nobody, we'd all die out as a species if you know we just had to make sure it was a hundred percent. Can I have a consent form signed first? These yeah, days, consent. Yeah. How do you like? Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. And anyway, I'm I'm not discrediting uh, genuine uh, victims. Um, if- you know, in many universities in the US now, following this Me Too thing, you are advised by the university to get verbal consent before you touch a woman in any way, even just to tap on the shoulder. Really mad. Right, yeah, that but if you're tapping them on the shoulder, it's to get their attention. So you know, you get their attention by asking for the consent right, to tap them on the shoulder. It's That's, intrusive. It's invasive. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously there's grabby, you know, there's touchy, feely men, there's there's grabby men and stuff. And I think, you know, most women have, uh, you know, fall, fallen victim to, to um, you know, cre these creepy men and stuff. And also, you know, there's power structures that, that encourage it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the flip side of that is Harvey Weinstein made some amazing films. You know, why, why should I have to suffer when I go to the cinema mm -hmm. just so that, you know, some Hollywood stars don't get nonced on by creepy... Hollywood nonces. <laughs> like I prefer that, that the, is a, a convoluted conundrum that I, you posed to me. I just preferred then. the old system when mm -hmm. I could go to the cinema and see Pulp Fiction. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Some people got their asses felt or had to, you know, nosh him off in a hotel room, but I could see Pulp Fiction. It was mm -hmm. a much better system for me. Anyway, so so looking at um, what people are saying about uh, about this, so. Um, uh, the, the Vice article says conservative politicians and talking heads can barely contain their excitement about the verdict finding Amber Heard defamed Johnny Depp. I suppose I should have been less excited in that opening <laughs> bit. Uh, I've sort of proven their point there. Yeah. But um, more importantly, uh, they seemingly view the verdict as the end of the Me Too movement and its subsequent push to hold people who've committed abuse and misconduct accountable. I don't know. I think it's, uh, you know, some people have said it's actually an expansion of the mm -hmm. Me Too movement because Johnny Depp uh, has, has been the victim. Has Me Tooed Amber. He's, well, Johnny Depp has been, yeah, he's me too yeah. Amber by, you know, uh, by uh, speaking out about her abuse against mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's interesting is, um, you know, nobody nobody seems to be talking about this, but there's financial abuse. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, every time they went out for dinner, I'm pretty sure Johnny, you know, picked up the bill. All right, he's rich and stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, this is how this is a this is a, a sort of a, 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 an aspect of, of abuse that no nobody ever talks about. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, there's the, the financial exploitation of Johnny mm -hmm. Depp. Uh, Vox, if we move on to the next tab, Vox says, uh, Johnny Depp's legal victory and the death of Roe versus Wade are part of the same toxic cultural movement. Ah, so this is the uh, shoehorn my agenda type of reaction you were talking about. I oh see, man, every single article is like shoehorning their, the, whatever they want in. There's, mm -hmm. oh man, there's, there's, <laughs> there's worse ones than this. Um, and they say, in the article, they say, this verdict is as much as to say that anyone who says the phrase, I was abused, can be sued as a liar. And it's like, well, yeah, they can be sued as a liar if they lied, and there's evidence that yeah. they lied. And that caused damage, and, and it was that caused damage. Yeah. That's why we have a court system. Right. Instead of just going on Twitter and seeing what some angry women with wireframe glasses and cats think about it. Um, so in the article, uh, Vox says, Depp supporters argue that his victory re represents not the end of Me Too, but an expansion of the mm -hmm. movement. Depp is help helping to break down the stigma against men identifying as abuse victims. Uh, and they say, it is true that there is compelling evidence that Heard be behaved violently towards Depp. Yes, mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. is. So, you know, surely, you know, also, you know, I thought we weren't going to be so focused on gender anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, why? how come male is still this like ultimate, you know, power paradigm and you know female but while while there is a tendency to focus um domestic abuse on the violence aspect because obviously it's the most visible um i think at the most important part of amber heard's behavior in this relationship is reputational destruction which is a yeah. form of vengeance and a vindictiveness that's far more female in nature than violence which is more masculine it's very of patriarchal of you to say that <laughs> <laughs> well i mean you could say that you know depp's uh, lawsuit is then revenge against some people are saying it's revenge against amber um, and also Vox, Vox says, you know, all right, so Amber, you know, technically she abused him by, you know, hitting him, uh, exploiting him, uh, and there's audio recordings in mm -hmm. which she uh, admits hitting mm -hmm. him. So, you know, we, that's not um, controversial, no. a controversial claim. Mm -hmm. uh, but Vox says that at all points, Depp had more power than Heard because he was older and richer. That is such a facetious analysis. It's, it's you can't use that to justify violence. You can't right. say, oh, well, you can punch that person because they're mm -hmm. older and richer. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, you're going to go up to, what, Stephen Hawkins? <laughs> you know what I mean? What's right. the logical end point of that argument? Well, you need a pretty good shovel to start with. <laughs> yeah, but whoever whoever the new Stephen Hawkins is, there's, there's probably a new one. Mm. But um, Teen Vogue, uh, I always go to Teen Vogue for my um, analysis. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's I mean, I've, I've scrapped my economist's subscription. Yep. Just read Teen Vogue now. Mm -hmm. So um, they say the Johnny Depp Amber Heard verdict doesn't matter after the internet made a spectacle of abuse. I don't know. I think the I think the verdict does matter. I think the courts do matter. Mm -hmm. They they deal with objective truth mm -hmm. rather than uh, opinion and speculation. Because uh, <laughs> it's Teen Vogue. This woman, Lexi McMenamin, uh, she says uh, that sounds like the start. Is that how you, you say McManaman with a very strong accent? McManaman. Liverpool accent. McManaman. McManaman. That's McManaman. 
that's it sounds like the start of the Muppets. Uh. <laughs> um, but anyway, she uh, she says it's creepy because <laughs> it's Teen Vogue. Uh. So the ultimate ultimate insult for a teenage girl. Uh, that's creepy. He's creepy. Uh, and then uh, Lexi says uh, Herd isn't good. She she says she's not saying Herd's good. You want to know why? Mm -hmm. Because Herd did a racist tweet in 2018. Oh, well, she cannot be forgiven. Even so she, if she's on my side of the political movement, as is the case here. She cannot Alexi. be forgiven. And oh. do, you know what, do you know what the tweet was that was so racist? Oh, it's going to be something absolutely anodyne and pathetic, isn't it? It's the most racist thing I've ever heard. Uh -huh. uh, I've just heard that there's an immigration checkpoint in Hollywood a, flu, a few blocks from where I live. Everyone better give their housekeepers, nannies and landscapers a ride home tonight. And that got, Amber was torn down for that tweet even though that's quite funny actually. what are we supposed to pretend that in hollywood all these like democrat voting like rich liberals in hollywood don't have hispanic immigrant housekeepers mm -hmm, nannies mm -hmm. and landscapers i mean it's it's a nonsense um anyway lexi mcminiman uh, looks mm -hmm. exactly like you'd imagine she's uh, got short dyed red hair and, and, a, and a nose ring, but uh, I must and, admit, and she's, a nose, yeah, she's got a nose ring but as well. She's certainly an improvement on the one we saw in the BBC article with the dummy around her. Yeah, neck. but remember the Ukrainian one. Ah, that's true. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and um, look, moving on to some tweets that have been sent. Um, so here we go. <laughs> so this is somebody getting criticised uh, for uh, for their, their their take on the the trial trial result. And uh, Ellie Mistel says, uh, you're focused on the trial, which I could hardly give a crap about. And I'm focused on the verdict and how it will be used by the <sighs> bad guys. Well, actually, you could argue this is a philosophical distinction between the left and the right, right? Yeah. The right cares about process. The left cares about ends. That's why yeah. the left will use any means to get their ends. To get to their the utopia. Right, it's more about, no, it's the process, it's the means, it's that everything's done fair. So you can kill 50 million people if you're if you're trying to find this socialist socialist paradise. Exactly. It doesn't matter. I'm only interested in the ends and how yeah. they'll be used by the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, and also an uh, individual, they don't see people as individuals. They mm. see the broader social context, mm. but not the fact that, you know, this is a man who's suffered defamation and right. that's the, the court proved it yeah so you they know justice has been done they look at humanity like it's a load of ant colonies in a big tank right it's like oh it's the grand sway of collectives here there yeah. and the other not the individual people involved in human yeah. society yeah yeah and it, right. yeah. yeah it's ridiculous mm -hmm. uh next one says um i don't care how you feel about johnny depp or amber heard this is a very bad day for women who are victims the silence so many fought against for so many years will once again descend over survivors of sexual violence and domestic violence I mean, there's maybe a little point that like uh, people might think twice about coming forward, if uh, mm -hmm. especially if they don't have any evidence. But man, there's evidence. There's mm -hmm. tons of Amber Heard's testimony admitted. There's recordings of her saying she was she was violent. There's recordings of her saying she was going to maliciously uh, use. Uh, you could hardly ask for a more open and shut case. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And even with you know with the. I mean, if if anybody's a, a victim of Me Too, it's uh, it's Amber Heard because she mm -hmm. was lulled into this false sense mm -hmm. of security. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you know, we'll believe, we believe all women. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, no, absolutely. There's no question, no need for evidence or anything. But the court system, you know, they hadn't updated mm -hmm. the legislation and the, mm -hmm. the due legal process. So when the courts went through it, they were like, well, we're looking at the actual truth. Mm -hmm. The Guardian got involved as oh, well. Yeah. Uh, they said the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial was an orgy of misogyny. <laughs> With uh, a rather stern looking Moira Donegan there. Uh, mm. So they say the backlash to Me Too has long been underway, but this feels like a tipping point. While most of the vitriol is nominally directed at Heard, it is hard to shake the feeling that re really it is directed at all women. I mean, that's in your head. Yeah. That is, it was directed at Amber Heard. It wasn't directed at all women. Um, imagine taking Amber Heard as a representative of all women. You'd have to be quite the misogynist to do that. Yeah, if Amber Heard represents the Me Too movement, that's quite revealing. If Me mm. Too uh, aficionados think Amber Heard represents them, mm -hmm. um, and really, you know, it's not the courts, it's not, uh, it's not society, it's not Johnny Depp that's damaging Me mm -hmm. Too. It's Amber Heard. Yeah, is damaging Me Too. She's she's the one who's caught lying. And uh, most of the most of the people who had beef with her are women. Yeah, which I can fully believe. Yeah, uh, the Guardian also uh, describes Depp's lawsuit, which he won, remember, mm -hmm. as uh, frivolous and punitive. Oh. Now, judges uh, in a defamation case can actually decide if a case is, uh, you know, when they're when they're mm. weighing it up, 
mm -hmm. before they, they decide to yep. get to court, they can decide if it's frivolous and if it's punitive. Mm -hmm. And uh, clearly in this case, the judge didn't. The judge thought it had merit and it progressed to, to a jury trial. You tend not to get jury trials uh, for them in the UK. Mm. Um, Lawrence Fox just tried to get a jury uh, for his trial um, and didn't get it. Mm. Um, and The Guardian says, but the mainstream coverage of the trial has been, tr has been tremendous focus on Herd's mistakes and worst moments over the course of our rev relationship with Depp. It's like, well, yeah, obviously they're going to show the worst moments. Yeah, like, why else? Would, why wouldn't they? That's what the that's news... That's their job. Yeah, that's what the news does. Like, Amber Heard making Johnny Depp a cup of tea uh -huh. isn't news. No. Amber Heard taking a big dump in Johnny Depp's <laughs> bed is news. That's weird, and it's extreme, and it's newsworthy. Oh, um okay. And apart from the trial, there's tons of evidence that she's the abuser. She, there's previous um, previous things. The next tab shows um, she, was, she was arrested on a charge of domestic violence against her girlfriend in 2009. Um, and The Guardian uh, goes on and says, this cruelty has now been joined in and compounded by the jury who've, go who've gone beyond mocking her for telling her story and now declared that she actually broke the law by doing so. I mean, this seems to be borderline... Um, mm -hmm. I mean, this is certainly uh, contempt. I'd have thought this is contempt of court this is, or jury intimidation. Mm. She's calling out... She's accusing the jury of, uh, of using their decision to harass and bully and mock and belittle Amber Heard, mm. which... I, I don't know if that's if that's legal. I'm that's, sure the Guardian's lawyer. I think lawyer. it is, but that's a that's a very interesting question, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't know enough about that to say, but I just feel there's. Don't you believe all women, Leah? I believe uh, some women. Yeah, I think that's I the right place women. to be. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe this woman. Put yeah. it that way. If hashtag believe all women means believe this woman, then I'm out. Right. <laughs> okay, and moving on to some more responses. Uh, this guy. This guy deleted. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the, too many of you all dudes. Oh, Why, man, like you're white. I think he's white. I better make sure he's white before I say you're white. But white people saying you all. He might be transracial. It's yeah. like, why don't you say thinner as well? You all thinner. It's like, you know, stop trying to appropriate the language of uh, African Americans. But too many of you all dudes are a little too happy about this Johnny Depp thing and it's weird. This isn't a huge day for men. You just never liked women, my dude. Anyone who ends their statement in my dude is automatically worthy of condemnation, my dude. Yeah, and that guy, man, he looks like... It's funny how these people all look like... You can predict it before you even see the They look like picture. their opinions. Yeah, It's yeah. like they're, It's funny how people... Um, people used to say it's funny how uh, people look like their dogs. Now mm. people look like their opinions. That's a very good way of looking at it, yeah. Yeah. People look like their opinions. It's a bit like Roald Dahl used to say, if you meet a cheerful person, it doesn't matter if they have warts on their face or whatever, you can tell, you get a pleasant feeling out of them because yeah. their good nature just sort of shines out of them. Yeah, yeah. But um, with these people, their uh, nasty opinions shine out of them. Absolutely. And uh, he says on his Facebook, his Facebook is hilarious, I lead, I lead the league in pissing off virgins. My POV percentage is off the charts. Let's just throw, have a reminder of what his face looks like. <laughs> Mr. Fucking Pussy Monster oh, gets dear. all the maximum amount of pussy in the world. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Ah, disgusting. And if you scroll <laughs> down, there's more There's more nonsense from him. Mm -hmm. But um, you all. He says you all a lot. But, yeah, if we move on to the next tab, uh, it's also just a simple opportunity for the people of kindness, kindness and tolerance to, to virtue signal. So Josie Long, who uh, makes a big point of uh, how nice she is. Oh, yeah. She does. She's a comedian. Uh, she's, I mean, comedy's subjective, so I can't say she's a, she's a bad comedian. But you go watch some of her stuff, you know, decide. Um, then that's, you know, there, I've, I've done her a favor. I've increased her audience and stuff. Go, go watch my stuff as well. After you've watched <laughs> Josie Long. In fact, before you watch Josie Long, watch my stuff. Leo Kearse on YouTube. Uh, got loads of stuff on there, but um, you know she made one of one of her bits. She 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 makes this thing about how uh, you know she's such a nice person, mm -hmm. and it's you know it's the way she she opens the, the show by by saying oh, you know so I don't have this I don't but I'm a nice person right, and that yeah. makes that means that I'm better than mm -hmm. I think she's having a go at Lawrence Fox or some, but anyway so she uh, says um, F Johnny Depp C word oh dear. Uh, and then yeah, kind, tolerant, uh, respectful. Suze, Suze Kempner is another lefty comedian. Who's actually I'm, I, I, I like her. She's a nice person. Well, I don't know if she's a nice she person, got but a I, I like her. Well. Maybe I like her because she's a nasty person. But <laughs> anyway, she's uh, she's fun. 
Um, and uh, she says, love you. And Josie's like, I also love you. It's like, man, you, you're slagging off a guy who's just been proven to be the victim of abuse. Uh, just had to, you know, take somebody to court for defaming him. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, you can have an opinion, but like, why just this F Johnny Depp? That's solidarity zero? against men, Leo. Yeah, like, what's the difference between men and women? Like, he could just, he could literally turn around and be like, you know, I'm a woman. And then he's a woman. And then you're being... You're being abusive against a, a female victim of domestic violence. Yeah, that would be vicious. Moving on, I better hurry this up a bit, but moving mm -hmm. on, um, we've got to remember, oh, what, what, who are the real victims? The real victims are black women, obviously. Uh. So the widespread celebration and joy of a survivor being gaslit is horrifying if a rich white woman can't even be believed. I don't think she's rich anymore. But yeah. if a rich white woman can't even be believed, what about all the BIPOC queer disabled folks, mm -hmm. working class folks and other marginalized survivors supposed to feel? Who the f is going to believe us? Um, but she's uh, is she bipoc, queer, disabled, and working class? I mean, I know she's intellectually disabled, but beyond that, <laughs> goodness me, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think she is sitting in the she's somewhere on the you know oppression uh, mm -hmm. pyramid. Because I think she's, she's sitting on a large pile of money from uh, Simp supporters from about ten years ago who donated to uh, to a thing she never did. But anyway, oh really? I believe I. Don't take my word for that. That's be my another defamation trial. Yeah, <laughs> two in one podcast. I'm not but, doing very yep. well today. Let's hurry on. Let's but get my, to the next one. My mate had a defamation trial against a comedian who uh, stole some of his material. It never actually made it to, mm -hmm. to court, um, but because uh, the guy was trying to use the courts to like bully my mate into into silence. Uh, it's K Curd, if not my mate, the the K Curd's the guy who stole the comedian, so it stole the, the material. Um, but somebody in mm -hmm. the um, somebody referred to it as a def deformation trial. <laughs> oh dear. It's like deformation is something else. Mm. It's defamation. Deformation mm. is when you leave. Yeah, but Americans, you know, they're not very good at pronouncing things at the best of days. Love yeah. you guys. Yeah. Um, and there's uh, this is in theroot.com, which mm -hmm. is basically Pravda for black women. Okay. Um, so they say. Uh, <laughs> um, they say, where are we? If the mistreatment of, uh, of a wealthy, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white actress is ridiculed by the world, what does that mean for black women? I mean, it probably means that you shouldn't lie to destroy someone's career because you might get found out. Yeah. And you might get in trouble. Yeah. So it's the same message for everyone. Because what goes around comes around is the message that's being sent. Huh? The court isn't, everybody's got equal, equal rights in the eyes of the law mm -hmm. and it wasn't you know nobody's looking like oh well you're this and you're that it doesn't matter your yeah. intersectionalities don't matter when it comes to the court when it comes to the objective truth um they say for black women who do not have whiteness or fame or money to protect them herds words of the uh, of the verdict herds words of the verdict uh, as a setback ring especially true uh, and it's like, well, most white people don't have money or fame to protect them. Oh, but they have whiteness, Leo. But we just have whiteness. And is whiteness a protection? It's we a, are all equal it, under the know, law. If you make the uh, the secret white power sign, then you just get like this magic shield that surrounds you and prevents you from any kind of criticism. Have is that why chefs it? are so protected? That's it, yeah. Because they're always like, mwah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the, the white power sign. <laughs> um, the article says, some even believe Depp when he, when he said that she was the aggressor in the relationship. It's, yeah. Because some of the evidence, like they weren't just like listening to what Depp said and being like, oh yeah, I believe that. But you there know, was evidence that showed evidence that Evidence was... is uh, patriarchal and heteronormative and uh, like bad. So. Yeah, because it's provable, <laughs> which, you know, is the opposite of what Me Too is. Mm. What happened to her is another vile reminder to women, particularly black women, that nothing can guarantee your safety. I mean, what's it got to do with black women? I know. It's got nothing to do with, with black women. Uh, it sends a message to those who lie and make baseless accusations that doing so may have consequences. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you defame someone, if you maliciously lie about someone with the intent uh, and the result that you harm them financially and reputationally, then, you know, you can get in trouble for that, which is a, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, also, interestingly, the left uh, suddenly really cared about freedom of speech. Oh, I love it when the they come one. back to this argument. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they say, um, and they're, they're worried about, um, uh, you know, journalistic freedom. Um, Who makes a change? So they say, I'm a bit stunned that more journalists aren't outraged and stunned by the by the herd debt verdict. In addition to being a disaster for domestic abuse survivors, it is a dis disaster for a publication's ability to tell truth to power. Um, I mean, Johnny Depp is just one guy. It's not 
speaking truth to to power, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and he was he was a victim in the relationship. Uh, they're, they're acting like Johnny Depp is the Freemasons. Yeah, like, yeah, it's and ridiculous. It, and if you speak truth to power, it's got to be the truth. Uh -huh. You can't just m make up some stuff and say, "Oh, Johnny Depp, you know, beat me or whatever," and mm -hmm. you know. If if you do say that, it's got to stand up in court. By the way, Adam Davidson, uh, we've got in the next tab. This guy runs a thing called Masterful Storytelling. His whole thing uh, is from a guy who literally runs a course teaching you how to tell stories to make money. Goodness me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, you can't be like, I don't know. It, I should make a more cogent point than just noises. <laughs> but in the, the, next, uh, the next tab... Absolute effing disgrace of a justice system that says Amber Heard and the rest of us aren't allowed to write about the abuse we've suffered. And should we dare, our abusers can freely use the courts to punish us. Our abu abusers can't freely use the courts to punish us uh, unless uh, there's evidence that, mm -hmm. that you lied. And there's, there's so much evidence in this case that, mm -hmm. you know, she was the abuser. Uh, he didn't ab abuse her. Um, and uh, she uh, planned on, you know, maliciously using this. She threatened them with, uh, yeah, yeah. with, with all this sort of, sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, the next one says, I don't know if you guys realize that there is now a very famous precedent for, for how saying publicly that you're a victim of domestic violence without naming your abuser is considered defamation. She did a bit more than that, though, didn't she? she? Yeah, I mean, she didn't explicitly put his name. She didn't say Johnny Depp in the article, but she said, you know, this happened two years ago or whenever it was. And it was the time when mm -hmm. she was in a relationship with Johnny Depp. So it was, you know... It was effectively naming him. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, they didn't pull this verdict out of their ass. No. You know, they did think about it. Mm -hmm. And they did, like, consider evidence and stuff like that. Well, uh, Amber's reply. I think, really, the um, the takeaway lesson from here is the importance of actually thinking about the evidence because otherwise you end up looking like a complete idiot. On, yeah. And nowadays, once you look like a complete idiot on Twitter once, you're, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, like... Yeah, also the, the courts are different from social media. It's like it's a place where they, they try and divine, um, you know, the, the objective truth rather yeah. than, you know, the political uh, truth, political truth yeah. and the wider contextual truth. Mm -hmm. You're saying about like Amber's that. reply. So Amber's reply, uh, which is which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, she actually uh, defames him again. <laughs> She says, the disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mount of, mountain of evidence was still not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. She didn't have a mountain, mountain of evidence. You know, she had some claims and stuff. He had the mountain of evidence. And, uh, you know, she's saying it's patriarchy that did this, uh, not the fact that, you know, and, and she's saying, you know, he's got the, the power. And I, I would say that actually she's got the power. Yep. She's got the institu institutional strings that mm -hmm. are there to um to literally just believe her whatever she says regardless of the evidence because that's the current thing absolutely and there's uh you know the uh, institution we've got the criminal justice in institutions that uh, are there to protect victims of abuse uh, so we've got the system these these laws to um you know to pr protect so you you can um it, it's a crime it's a crime to abuse someone um and she also had the social cultural power that the me too movement gave her um, and she says, I'm even more disappointed with what, what this verdict means for other women. It's a setback that sets the clock back to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. And this is, uh, you know, it's ridiculous. She's, violence by women shouldn't be taken seriously. Yeah, yeah. If anything, this, this is sort of progressing um, Me Too to, you know, Slightly including Slightly closer men. to common sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and making it less of a gendered thing and as we all know gender is a construct so oh, it's yeah. about time we move beyond gender with that mm -hmm. i believe johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the uk i'm sad i lost this case but i'm sadder still that i seem to have lost a right i thought i had as an american to speak freely and openly uh <laughs> i mean I, I thought this is america defense this is like um uh and she also, by the way, she she speaks up for freedom of speech, and the replies are locked on this uh, on this tweet. <laughs> of course, so yeah. you know, there's not much uh, freedom of speech going on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's basically saying, can a woman not falsely accuse a man in the Washington Post of uh, raping and beating her for political and financial gain? Uh, I thought this was America. <laughs> like, there are limits on free speech. Yeah. You can't just run into a theater and shout fire, Unless fire. There is a fire. 
Unless there is a fire. You know what I mean? This, the evidence is very important, important in, in yeah. these cases. And, uh, you know, Me Too was, was based on the premise that we should believe all women. And, uh, you know, I think all these Me Too uh, advocates, they would do the Me Too movement mm -hmm. so much more of a favor if they just came out and said, like, look, you know, maybe there are some instances mm -hmm. where women, you know, particular individual women mm -hmm. um, lie. Yeah. and have lied and have been proven to lie. Mm -hmm. So, you know, me too. We shouldn't believe all women. We should believe a lot of women, yeah. and uh, especially when there's evidence to, no, I'm, to support I'm equal it. equal opportunity. I think women have the equal opportunity to be an absolute piece of work as men do. So Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think Amber Heard is, you know, as much of a victim of the Me Too movement as... Uh, as you know, she as as she sort of hurt it, she's damaged it as well. Yeah. Um, you know, she was told, oh, "We'll believe you no matter what," and you know that that didn't work. But mm -hmm. we've also got to remember, I'll just finishing this, we've got to remember Johnny Depp. He's nearly sixty. Mm -hmm. He's still carrying on and playing like he's a rock star and stuff. It's like, man, you're not. You're nearly sixty, and you're an actor. He's a mean guitarist. Yeah, does it, man? The, 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 there's nothing sad. Oh, man, some guy noodling on his guitar. Well, that's absolutely <laughs> tragic. You know, the best the best rock stars can't even play their guitars. Look at um, Jesus and Mary Chain. Okay. They can't play a guitar. The guy can play like three notes. That's all you need. That's all you need to be a total badass. Also, Amber Heard is really fit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I could tell looking at Amber Heard, man, she's trouble. She's really fit though, but she's trouble. So how come I'm smarter than Johnny Depp? If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the interview Carl did with David Rearboy. And if you want to follow Carl and see what else he's putting out, you can follow him on Getter at at Carl Benjamin on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.